Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to configure static routing in Cisco ASA firewall and verify the connectivity between networks connected between inside and outside interface of ASA firewall. This is the topology I am going to use for today's lab. For the purpose of saving the time, I have already configured three Cisco routers. In my previous videos, I have already shown you how to configure Cisco routers interfaces and how to configure a static routing. In this video, specifically, we are going to concentrate on Cisco ASA firewall. We will see how to configure the interfaces along with how to do static routing for ASA firewall. Now I will open the console of Cisco ASA firewall. Here I will configure all the three interfaces of Cisco ASA firewall. Enable, no password, and I will go to configuration mode. First I will configure the inside interface of ASA firewall, that is G0 slash 0 in interface G0 slash 0. I'll name this interface as inside. The security level automatically sets as 100. And I will assign IP address to this interface. All the, all the interfaces IP addresses will end with dot 25. So here, 192.168.1.25 IP address is 168.1.25. Subnet mask, 24 base subnet mask, and we have to give no shirt. Next interface, interface G0 slash 1. That is the outside interface of ASA firewall. I will name this interface as outside. It by default automatically assigns the security level as zero. Now we will assign the IP address. The IP address is 15.1.1.25. 24-bit subnet mask and no shirt. Next, we are going to configure the interface G0 slash 2. I will name this interface as DMC. Here the security level automatically sets as zero, but for this lab purpose, I'm going to assign it once again, Secu security level. I'll give 75 and IP address. On the topology, we can see 172 dots 16.1.25, 255.255.255.0, and I will give no shirt. I'll save this configurations. Now we will check the interface status, show interface IP brief. Here we can check the status of the interface. Status is so showing up. And we can use one more command, show name if. Here we can check the name of the interface and the security level. Next, we will configure static routes and static default routes in ASA. Uh, to reach the router once loopback interface networks, we need we are going to configure the static route and also to reach the DMC network behind router three. To reach that, we are going to configure static route and also the networks behind router two. The also all the outside networks we are going to configure the default route from ASA. Cisco IOS routers. We will configure using IP route command 
But in ESA firewall, we have to use this command to configure static routes. The command will start with route. Next, we have to give the name of the interface that is inside. That is the exit interface through which we can reach these networks. So next destination network 192.168.4.1.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
R1 G00 interface to R2 G00 interface, it will allow the on-site traffic. It will reach from R1 to R2, but it will not come back to R1. So we can check that because it will not inspect the ICMP from ICMP traffic from outside. So that we have to configure. Meantime, I will go to router one, router one console. Here we can check. It already has the routes for outside network. We are having the default route from router one to reach the router two. The same way I'll go to router two. In router two also, we are having route back to this 192.168.1.0. That is router one G00 interface network. We are having route back to 192.168.1.0. So I will ping from router one in IP address of, what is the IP address of R2, R2 G00 interface 15.1.1.2. Now AAC will not allow this traffic to pass through we can, now I'll go to ASA. We will enable logging inside ASA. Logging console, seven, not level is seven, debugging. And I will enable the logging. Now logging is enabled. Now I am once again going to ping from R1. We will see what is happening inside ASA firewall. I'll go to ASA. Here we can see Deny inbound ICMP source source outside 15.1.1.2. It is denying the inbound traffic from ICMP inbound traffic from source IP address outside interface 15.1.1.2.192.168.1.1. But it is allowing from inside to outside, but it is not allowing the traffic ICMP traffic from outside to inside. But at the same time, it will allow, it will inspect the TCP IP traffic. So TCP traffic, I will try telnet to R2. From R1, I will telnet the R2. I already enabled necessary configurations in R2. So I will telnet from R1, telnet, IP address of R2, 15.1.1.2. Now here you can see, Telnet is working from R1. We can reach the R1 from R2 using Telnet. Here we can see it is successfully working from R1. I'll go back to ASA. Here you can see it built the out, outbound TC, TCP connection or outside. Earlier, it denied the inbound ICMP. We can see here, deny inbound ICMP source outside. But now this time, it built outbound TCP connection for outside 15.1.2. It built a TCP connection for 15.1.1. That successfully created. Now to allow the ICMP traffic, I should go to ASA firewall. We'll check the policies. I'll go to show run. We'll check the running configurations here. Here we can check under policy. Under policy map, global policy, we can see class inspection default. 
what are the traffics will be inserted. Here you can see it will insert FTP and TFTP. These are some TCP UDP traffic, but here it does not mention about ICMP. So what we have to do, we have to configure ICMP inside this policy map and class. First, I will disable the login. Now we will configure the default policy here. Under this policy, we have to configure inspect. We have to inspect ICMP. We have to include this ICMP traffic to be inspected. I will save this configuration. Once again, I will go back to running configurations. Once again, we will check whether it is included. Yeah, here we can see now we have included the ICMP traffic inside the policy map. So once again, I will go back to R1. Earlier, our ping is not working from here. You can see here, we have pinged the R2 15, uh, G00 interface. It's not working that time. Now I will once again do the same thing. Now it should work 15.1.1.2. Meantime, once again, I will enable logging here. Okay. Now I will ping from R1 to R2 interface. Here you can see, now it is successfully working. After we enable the inspection of ICMP from ASA firewall, it is successfully working. Here also in the logging, you can see, it built the outbound ICMP connection for address 15.1.1.2 and source address is 192.168.1.1. So it is successfully working now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.